Hello folks. Today is uh, December 24th. It's Christmas and a friend uh, and uh, his family, one of my neighbours further down, is on a couple of days Christmas holiday and I promised to look after their chickens and uh, and their cat so I'm on my way but it's fairly blue skies and a bit of sunshine today so I decided to take a walk in the woods as well but uh, now it's time to feed the chickens This is the local village, if you can call it that. There's, I think, yeah, seven, eight, nine houses maybe. The guy who lives in there has a big part of the woods on this end. And uh, he has sheep, but uh, they are not around here but maybe further down and down there is my friends and uh, and his family's house yeah here are the chickens gonna give them a handful they got food inside but uh, they can run around here pick this out of the ground They are so cozy. Yeah, let's see inside the chicken coop. Lots of water and food. Let's see if there's any eggs. Oh yeah. And I forgot to bring something to uh, carry the eggs home. Okay, I'll pick them up tomorrow. No, I'll pick them up tonight because I'm going to come back tonight. And uh, fill this up as, uh, as well tonight. Yep, first hour. like maybe I connect the sink to the drainage system today and I'm considering bringing in the, uh, the small 15 liter water heater I got and connect that to the water tank or the pressure tank um, so I have running water here and can shower <laughs> yeah in level
It's gonna be great. <laughs> when this is done and the water and the drainage is collected, I can wash up in here and brush my teeth in here. God, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. As you uh, might remember, I used to have a steel kitchen table with the sink right here, and uh, I moved it. <laughs> yeah, the water used to go out there, and uh, I moved it because now I got water inside. It's not connected with uh, with uh, all the fittings, but uh, with a garden hose. And uh, yeah, I'll show you. Yep. And I even got light. <laughs> and the water's running cold and warm water. And uh, as before, I have a fitting here so I can connect the hose and uh, use in the shower. So now, for the first time, I got a sink and running water in the kitchen or what's going to be my kitchen. I'm not finished out there yet, but uh, it'll be done, hopefully. I talked, actually, I talked to the uh, electrician today. And uh, after New Year, he says, uh, and I know what that means, he could have said uh, after next winter or whatever. But I'll keep him in, uh, in a leash and... Uh, Hopefully you'll get the job done, so I can continue here and uh, build the new kitchen. That's going to be magnificent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it took a bit of uh, fiddling and uh, some uh, homemade solutions, but it's only temporarily and uh, that will hold yeah hi folks as I'm uh, standing in chopping away I've been uh, reflecting over this last year. Today is the day before New Year and uh, I started in, I started this year in a borrowed cabin and found this place and I was looking at it the first time I think the end of January, mid, mid January, something like that. And uh, it was in a price range that suited me. 
and it's surrounded by forests and I just was thinking of how much this year has been life-changing for me it's been a fantastic year for me not for the world uh, it's been all about the COVID-19 coronavirus but here in the small cabin it's been a fantastic year and I just <laughs> spend a couple the last couple of days looking at some of all my older blocks and it's nice to have those to remind you of yeah, it's like a diary but in motion uh, it reminds me of all of the stuff I've been doing what I've been up to all year uh, the whole process of finding a new place uh, I think I've been look I have looked at more than 50 different places uh, before I found this um, all the preparation from uh, yeah, finishing some of the jobs I had uh, that was going on in, in the borrowed cabin and uh, packing everything and moving here in yeah, mid mid April late April I moved in and starting all over from scratch of course I had a house but it needs uh, a proper going over uh, the old barns I have one behind the house and this I started here because the roof was in a bad condition now first of all <laughs> I uh, cut down a lot of trees and made my vegetable garden um, and the, the, uh, the greenhouse that is blue here <laughs> but uh, and that has been a terrific uh, experience uh, in spite of really bad dirt everything has been growing like a rocket leaving earth it's i'm so amazed i haven't e i have yeah close to half the potatoes i've eaten now <laughs> i have potatoes until yeah the next harvest maybe and uh, winter leeks i got loads of them still um I made the inside of the, this barn into a usable space, made a, like a small workshop in one part and got all my firewood in the other part. Uh, I've put on a new roof on the other side of that barn. Uh, I tried to dig down the water line that's going yeah, from the house and to the well is 150 meters, but it was a task that was, it wasn't possible. So I had to make that decision to get a, uh, a well drilled in the ground 108 meters down, it ended up. Um, and uh, I made the... Uh, the uh, new extension and now I got water inside the house uh, and can take showers inside the house not outside in yeah, some days high wind and rain and uh, some days blue skies and frost it's pretty cold I can tell you but it's uh, it's worked out fine I started out also making out making some uh,
boats with my Alaskan mill. I have, yeah, an ongoing job cutting firewood. Yeah, I've, I think I've uh, done a lot. Um, moved all those old granite boulders. That was a, quite a job. Uh, they're going to be used next summer for uh, the foundation on a, a front porch which is going to stretch most of the length of the front side of the house. Um, yeah, all in all, I think I've uh, achieved quite a lot, more than I expected. And I don't think I've been extremely busy. Um, I found some nice woods around or I've, I've had some nice walks around in the woods around me. Uh, I found this wonderful uh, trout stream, the small creek nearby. Uh, I can go fishing uh, in lakes all the way around. The only thing I haven't achieved this year is to get some place to go hunting. But uh, that's one of the, the things I'm going to do something about in 2021. Yeah, enough talk. I'll take this opportunity to wish you all a uh, happy new year and that 2021 is gonna fulfill more wishes of uh, being more social with other people um, spending time more time with people you care about and love and I hope all of you and your families and loved ones all safe and will stay safe until this uh, coronavirus is out, dead, gone forever, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's it for me today. Happy New Year.